Hi, I'm Matt Heverly for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, rover driver for the Opportunity rover. Recently, Spirit and Opportunity just celebrated their fifth anniversary, a big milestone for both rovers. We had some trouble recently with both of the rovers, but fortunately, they're both back on the road and driving again. In late January on Sol 1800, Spirit celebrated a significant milestone by operating 20 times longer than its original mission warranty, which was just 90 days. Sol 1800 also had some troubles for the rover in the way that the data is written to its memory and transmitted to Earth. We think that this is the result of cosmic radiation corrupting its flash memory on board. On 1806, however, we were able to return to driving and the rover seems to be behaving fine. We were only made it 30 centimeters before we encountered a partially buried rock that hit the right front wheel. If you remember, the right front wheel on Spirit no longer turns, so it makes it a little difficult to make it over obstacles. So 1809, however, the rover drivers were able to successfully negotiate around this rock and are now continuing their trek to get to home plate. Spirit also had a little good luck. On Sol 1812, a wind gust must have gone through, blown a little dust off from the rover's solar panels, gave the rover a modest boost in its energy level. On the other side of the planet, with Opportunity, we're still on our long trek to Endeavor Crater. Last week, Opportunity also experienced some troubles when the drive was terminated due to an error on the PanCam mass pointing assembly. This is how we point our cameras as we drive. This also looks to be cosmic radiation in the form of what we call a single event upset on the motor controller electronics. Everything seems to be performing well now, though, and we're able to continue driving again. Coming up, we're going to be trying out some new capabilities where we'll be able to do multi-sole driving. This basically means that the rover can drive one day and then wake up on the next day and continue driving autonomously without any human interaction. This is going to greatly increase our ability to make long distances for a given planning cycle as we continue this long, long trek to Endeavor Crater. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'm Matt Heverly for the Jet Propulsion Laboratory.